Hi everyone, Manny here again. Welcome back to another episode on Embroidery Hub. Today we're going to be covering the topic of the belt hoop. So, for today's project, what we're going to do is we're going to actually embroider on two different types of belts. We have here a cloth-like material belt, and we also have a leather type of belt. Now, just keep in mind that although today we're going to be working on belts themselves, this essentially can work on any type of belt, whether that's a collar for a dog, cat, any friendly pet, or perhaps maybe a ribbon or seat belts. I've seen seat belts embroidered. So yeah, pretty much anything that fits onto the belt hoop itself. And the design that we're actually gonna be running is this design right here, the flower design that you see here down below. It's been very popular on belts. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to start off, <clears throat> we're gonna start embroidering on the cloth-like material belt first. So when it comes to hooping the belt onto the belt hoop itself, as you can see on the sides, you still have your traditional metal plates like you do on all your other frames with the right one in the U-shaped. So that lets you know this is the slot that's going to go on the right side of the machine. So the belt itself is just like two clamps, presser clamps, that when you press on the clamp itself, it actually releases the springs and then it allows it to open up. This is where the belt would come in slotted. Same thing on the other side. I'm just going to open it up. And now we're gonna go ahead and actually slot the belt in. Now when slotting the belt, you can essentially start placing it the direction that you're gonna want it, depending on how the belt's gonna go around your waist. Uh, but always remember that you can always flip the design upside down within the machine itself. So no need to worry about that. Now when it comes to putting it into the hoop itself, you wanna come from the top of the belt, and I'll explain why in a bit. So when we come from the top, in the first slot, we're gonna go underneath, gonna come from the bottom, and come right back up, okay? And then you just adjust, slide it, depending on where exactly you wanna go ahead and make the design onto the belt. So we're gonna go ahead and just decide that this is where we wanna go ahead and put the design. And now we're gonna have to go ahead and clamp on the first side by just pressing on the two sides making sure that the metal plate gets clamped onto the two bolts same thing on the other side once we press down it's gonna clip in and so will the other side so there we go now we have the belt firmly onto the belt hoop alrighty so now we're gonna go ahead and slide it onto the machine all right, so when it comes to slotting it, again, you're going to keep it in the same direction with the plate with the U-shaped slot onto the right. And then we're going to go ahead and slot it in. Now, when we're slotting it in, notice how the belt is nice and tight onto the needle arm itself. That's the reason why I mentioned that we're going to have to go from the top, go through the bottom, and then back out from the under on top because if we would have went the other way then your belt would have actually been above the belt and not close enough to the needle arm to sew so that's why you want to start from the top and the bottom now as far as backing goes the backing that you're going to utilize is cutaway and we're actually just going to go ahead and slide it underneath now you can essentially go ahead and actually attempt to cut it the width of the belt hoop itself but honestly, it's a bit more difficult than just doing it this way. This is a much easier solution. And then because of the material that the cloth belt is, we're actually gonna utilize aqua top on top just to give it a bit more stability. All right. Now, once we have that there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and trace our design. Now, when it comes to choosing the hoop, once again, since this isn't one of your traditional hoops in the sign set, we're actually going to choose the option of other. All right. And then remember that the design itself, depending on which way you're going to be wearing the belt, that's where you have to decide whether you're going to flip your design 90 degrees, 180 degrees, depending on the design itself. All right. So we're going to go ahead and keep it the way it is. Already chosen our color, so all we have to do is go ahead and trace our design. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so we just finished tracing our design. One thing I would recommend is that if you are gonna go with the route of not actually placing the backing onto the belt hoop itself, actually trace the design first prior to putting on the backing or the aqua top because then it might just fall off. But once you have it in place and you've already traced and you're good to go, you can just slide in the backing and the aqua top and you're all set. So now that we're in position, we're just gonna go ahead and start our design. So here we have our finished product. As you can see. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and embroider on our leather belt. Now, just keep in mind that the leather belt that we're utilizing, it's a bit thin, so we shouldn't have any issues running with a size 11 needle. Uh, but bear in mind that the thicker the belt of the leather, you may need to go up a size on your needle, perhaps maybe a size 12 or 14. Maybe even if that doesn't work, going up to a titanium needle. So just remember that you're gonna be limited to the thickness of the belt. We can't say that this is gonna go through every single leather belt possible. All right. Now that we have the belt in place, let's go ahead and just trace our design. All right, so we finished tracing the design. We see that we clearly fit on the belt just fine. One thing we did take into consideration is lowering down the speed just because we're gonna try to penetrate through a leather belt. So you wanna run that at a lower speed so that you don't risk breaking the needle. So let's just go ahead and start now. Just in border on two different types of belts. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. Feel free to comment if you have any questions regarding this video. I also want to invite you to join our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery, where you can join other embroiderers and apparel decorators such as yourself. In it, you can ask questions and share tips and knowledge among one another. And for any additional information about our products or services, you can visit www.recoma.us. You'll find all these things I mentioned in the description below. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next time.